I'm Sharon. And I'm Gary. And we're Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. Yes, we do. And freedom has brought us to... White Mountain Dispersed Camping. Our first dispersed camping experience on BLM land. Wild Horse Loop, trying to find a good boondocking spot, but look, wild horses, amazing, beautiful. And we are by Green River, the town in the state of Wyoming, and, the, and this, uh, this loop that you come down is a 24 mile loop, and there are numerous campgrounds or campsites that you can pull off on, and there's also smaller dirt roads that connect to the main road that you can uh, find places to camp. And I would add that the, the gravel road that you drive up here and here on, which we drove our Class A motorhome in here, is a very nice gravel road. It's not the washboard type gravel, it's packed gravel. Um, I was doing 30, 35 miles an hour on it, no problem. So when you see dirt road, as long as you're coming in from the Green River side off of I-80, you'll have no problem. Right, it's not recommended to continue on towards Rock Springs because that has a lot of switchbacks and it's more narrow. But this section right through here, and we are not, I mean, even though it's a 24 mile loop, we're only eight miles up the road. And there were other areas to pull off, but for us, the, there were ditches to, that we'd have to drive through. So we were a little nervous about that. This was a flat entrance, it's a loop, we could just drive around. There are quite a few of those around here, and we've had um, wild horses, we can see from, the, from our site here, antelopes, some little critters running around here. We don't even know where they are, they look like rats yeah. without tails, but there's a lot of them. Almost like a chipmunk, but they're so fast I can't get a good look. And as you can see from this, we get around, there's nobody within sight of us right now. No, I mean, you'll nobody. Yes. And Verizon, which is what we have, is works great. No problems at all. Four or five bars? Yep. We, yeah, we had a really great service up here. This is White Mountain Road Dispersed Camping. And uh, we came in on White Mountain, on well, it's County Road 53 from Green River, the little town of Green River. And uh, there are probably more scenic sites, but the mountains are over here. You can overlook the town. There was another RV that was in a really neat spot overlooking the town. But we're not that adventurous yet. This is the morning after our first night here at Boondocking at White Mountain Road Dispersed Camping. And we've been watching these, I think there's three of them. One might be down in the brush. There's some antelope out there. Really cool. But Luna wants to walk now, so. No animal, uh, antelope viewing at this time. Look at the butte, and in front of it is a herd of wild horses. And we think they went through our campsite last night because there were all kinds of uh, hoof prints. And Tara started whining, but we never did see anything. But wow, this is amazing. We're taking the dogs out for a morning walk. So to put it in perspective, there's a rough road down at our campsite. And no one around. Nice look down over the valley. And Luna wants to walk. The standing still is not part of her plan this morning. Back to the herd of horses. Cool. But we're going this way. And there's Mr. D. Just to give you a glimpse of the road, 
White Mountain Road that goes to the, the dispersed camping, this is what it's like. It's not bad. It's a gradual up and then it just kind of rolls along up here, but nothing, no steep grades or anything like that. Beautiful views all around. We are leaving, going to hook up the car. Snow Cat Mountains back there, or in the foreground. Guess they're not, they're up there, not back there. There goes Rough Road on up ahead. Going to hook up and head to a full hookup campground. Looking forward to showers and laundry and all that good stuff. Hooking back up. Look how dusty everything is. This was clean when we left Colorado. Well, pretty clean. But the window, I couldn't even see out of it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty dusty. Welcome to Wyoming. There. See the difference? Right there, where I cleaned the windshield. So. So we're getting ready to leave here now. So we wanted to do a quick video because we're headed to uh, Fort Bridger, Wyoming. And uh, we'll post something about that. But this was a great, great, uh, great place. Right. We are glad that we, you know, being newbies at uh, the boondocking thing, we were a little nervous, but we just went for it. And uh, thank you, Campendium. Thank you for all of you who review on Campendium because it was those reviews that put our fears to rest. Yes. So thank you. And the wild horses, they were kind of amazing. Yep. Even though they came through our campground last night and left little packages. Yes. <laughs> That, that our dogs love. Yeah, drove the dogs <laughs> nuts, but uh, but that was that was really something else. Yep, we like looking at freedom. See you on the road. Bye. Bye. On the road. I like days like this. It is a short day today. We only have 54 miles to go to our next stop. Woo woo. Tara's excited. <laughs>